Hi guys, how are you today? We are doing an all over workout. Now, I'm gonna back, oh, I just tripped over my weights. Really? <laughs> Welcome, welcome, welcome. Today we're doing an all over body workout. Grab your water and grab some heavy weights. A kettlebell, I have a 12 pound kettlebell, 12 pound weights, eight pound weights, and we're gonna grab five pound weights, which I actually don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some five pound weights, okay? If you guys are at all interested in doing um, for me to do a video on some stretching techniques or some things that I do to keep my body fit after 50 because it's I work out pretty hardcore and what I need to do to keep my body going. If you guys want to see that, go ahead and put um, something in the bottom bar. Let's just march in place. This is going to be about 20 minutes, so let me look at my clock. Okay, we're doing everything. We're doing shoulders because we got to get those working, especially because they give that nice V. And then, of course, we're going to work in the butt because after 40, after 50, 50 50, 50, your butt really starts sinking, dropping, and flattening out. I know mine has, so I want to like tighten it up. So we're going to use heavy weights for the butt, get down there, and then we're going to do cardio that's really going to make us sweat. Let's pick those knees up. And then we're going to end with some planks on the floor just for the abs, because you know that I cannot do without. So let's start with 20 jumping jacks, because that warms up the entire body, okay? And let's go for 20. Thirteen. Four, three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna do little squats for 20. These are just warm up. So look at me from the side. It looks like I'm sitting down in the chair and we're just gonna come down for 20. We're just warming up that whole butt, that quad, that whole, whole lower region of the body. Getting ready for this workout. So today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of cardio after every single weighted workout. And that cardio is going to be jump squats. But they're gonna be moving, they're gonna be moving front and back. So let me show you quickly what they're gonna look like. We're just gonna come forward, hey, and back. Okay, now if you prefer, you can go side to side. This is just really gonna kick up the cardio. All right, a little bit more stretching, side to side. This is my favorite stretch. And as we're stretching, I'll bring up some other important information. So I've had a ton of injuries in the last couple of years, going through perimenopause and then menopause. So I'm gonna do a lot of research on, it's losing estrogen, starts tweaking with your body, and I'm sure it does. So if you guys wanna hear anything like that, please do. So I've had to add some new routines of stretching into my workout on the daily or else my body's just not flexible. I can't work out, I can't dance, and I'm just gonna get super injured and I don't want that. Okay, let's come out and down. When I say come out, lift those shoulders up and out and then kind of right to left. So you're really pulling out that lower back, that lower spine to get it ready. We don't want any injuries. And then you jump, come all the way down. Let's just pulse it for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Let's go ahead. These leggings are kind of slipping down. Go ahead and grab a heavy kettlebell or the heaviest weight that you have. All right? You can hold it like this if you like or the other way, whichever is comfortable. But your feet are going to be parallel, a little bit further than hips distance apart. You're going to be coming down into your squat like you're sitting in a chair. So not like that, but like that. Keep your body nice and upright. Don't curve that back. And we're just going to touch that weight to the bottom and pull it all the way up. This is going to kill. We're going for 20. So 20. Now this is for your butt. So you can go nice and slow. Keep a good form. Three. Yes. Four. Five, now I like to put all my weight in the heels, not on the toes. That's just gonna work that booty 
a little bit more. Don't we want that? Yes, we do. Totally lost count. I think we're at 10. Let's do 10 more. 10, all the way back. Nine. Eight, we're doing the upright row here. Six, working two body parts at the same time, which I absolutely love. Let's do four, three, two, one. Let's get down there and let's just stay down there. Let's just do little squats. Now, don't curve that back. Keep it nice and straight. Look up at me. Don't look down here. Look up at me. Keep pushing that butt like you're trying to hit the wall behind you. And let's just stay really low for 10, 9, 8. Breathe. 7, 6, 5, 4, oh, 3, 2, 1, 1, 1, 1. Drop it. Okay. Excellent job. That is not easy. I know. Okay. All right. Cardio. So we're doing jump squats, right? We're just jumping, squatting, super fun. How high can you go? But I want you to go forward and back. Okay, so we're getting some movement and all that's gonna do, make you a little bit, work a little bit harder. So first we're gonna go 10 to the front and back and then lateral to the side. Here we go. One, jump, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Side to side. Oh, these pants are gonna drive me crazy because I keep falling. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Lots of power. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Already, guys. I'm already out of breath, sweating, so grab your water. Hydrate throughout this whole workout. Okay. Woo. Oh, lat rows. Okay, with lat rows, when you're doing your lats, you can use a heavy, heavy weight. So these are 12 pounders. I'm gonna show you from the side. We're gonna pull up. I'm gonna alternate. Pull up. Now keep the underarm tight against you. That elbow pointing up to the ceiling. And we're gonna bend down, keep the body straight, not curved again. We're gonna alternate for 20, okay? Here we go. 20, 19, 18. 17, stand in mini squat, 16, 15, 14, look at me from the side, 13, 12, 11, starting to sweat, 10, 9, 8, 7, how are you guys doing? 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're just going to do them double time for 10. Doubles, here we go. 10, both arms, nine, eight, oh, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Excellent, that is super hard. But those shoulders and back, they can handle it. All right, we're gonna go back and forth. Now, actually this time, let's just do jump squats for 20 and see how that goes. All right, so, but I want you to jump high, 10, nine, really high, eight, seven, come on, six, five, four, three, two, one, come down lightly. In ballet, luckily we learned how to land lightly, so we don't injure ourselves. Also, we don't really piss off the neighbors below, or whoever's below you. If you're lucky enough to have a garage like me, but if not, you're gonna land soft. Laterally for 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna skip that last one. Squat pulse 
with heavy weights. This time I'm going to use eight pounders, not twelves. Twelves too heavy for me. Okay. We're going to put the weights on our shoulder. And we're just going to come down, open that butt, and do some nice pulses. Here we go for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, all the weight in the heels, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stay down there for 20, 19, 18, you can do it, 17, 16, I know, 15, how low can you go, 14, 13, look up, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, oh my god, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, uh, 2, you can do it, 1, up, 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 squeeze your butt, your hips, they're dead, so grab a wall behind you, lean up against it if you can, come down, let's just give that little hip and butt a little stretchy poo, many of you guys have asked me about these leggings, so I'm going to go ahead and put them, a link to them on my Amazon store, I have an Amazon store called Stung by Samantha, and I believe these leggings are there, but they are not, message me below, I'll go ahead and put the link to my Amazon, my Amazon store will be below this video, but um, if you don't see these leggings, let me know and I'll add them, I'll add them to my store, oh god, we have cardio, why is this video, this workout so hard today, right, different times of the month for women, even though I don't get my period anymore, I feel like I still go through PMS, and right now, happening. Okay, we're going to jump front and back for 10, 10, 9, 8. Be careful you're not jumping on anything slippy. Okay, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, just for fun, we'll do the same thing. Broad jump, front and back, just side view. 10, 9, Eight. Make sure you're not slipping. See, this made me a little bit nervous. Four, three, two, one. All right, stretch out that quad. My quad needs a little stretch. Knee facing down. Don't turn it out. That's a different exercise, although I like that one. We're also working that bicep and tricep, stretching that out too. Lower back's getting a good stretch there. Woo! My ballet teacher last night told me something I can't remember. He said, put that in your video, Samantha. <laughs> He's been teaching ballet for 30 years. And um, it was about resisting <sighs> to make the muscle work even harder. And I love that. So whatever you do to resist that muscle, ooh, pull it up. Just You can make this workout harder or easier. So, <laughs> all right, okay. Okay, light weights, because we're doing side lateral raises for the cap of the shoulders. We get that cute shoulder in our tank top. We love it. No flabby shoulders, no flat shoulders. Nice, rounded, muscular. I'm going to get turned out in the first position. I'm just going to come out for 20, and I'm going to come up on elevate and work the calf for 20, 19, 18. If this is too light, you could definitely go heavier, but this is just right for me. 15. 14, I'm adding the calves because, well, why not? You know, I don't want to just work one body part. And also your core is working. You can squeeze your butt. You can resist on the way down and work a little bit harder all the time. Okay, let's do seven more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, don't worry, we're going to get to do that right Again, afterwards, we're going to see it again in a little different variation. We're not done working that shoulder because I know you guys love it. Okay, we're going to do those jump squats again. We're going to do a little different variation. We're not going to be moving. We're just going to touch the ground and come up. Now, when you touch the ground, you're not going like this. Although, do you want to do that? Hey. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, no. No. 
You're gonna to wanna to touch the ground like you're sitting in a chair again. Your knees are not going over your toes. Sitting in the chair, come up. Throw the basketball, Woo. Yes. We're doing that for 20. You guys ready? Okay, let's go. 20, 19, 18, 17, touch the floor each time. 16, come on, 15, I'm looking at you. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, I'm moving front and back two to make it even hard. Three, two, one, stay down there, stretch it out. Oh my God, I know you guys are dying. I'm dying. How you guys doing? Water, water. What do we have left? Not too much. Remember I said we weren't done with lateral raises for the shoulder. We're gonna do, oh my God, static holes. One arm's just gonna stay out there. The other one's gonna move for 10, nine, eight. You can't breathe. Six, five, four, three, two, one. What's harder, the one that's stagnant, staying out there, or the one that's moving? Put a message in the bottom bar. Tell me what you think is the hardest. Let's go parallel. And let's bring the other arm up for 10, and then come up on a releve. Nine, why not? Eight, seven, oh my God. Six, one arm is stronger than the other. It's okay. Four, three, two, one, let down, excellent job. You guys, let's do a little stretch for those arms, shoulders. Bring them up above you, stretch your back. If you have any resistance bands, exercise bands, I do have some really great exercises and stretches because you really need that mobility. Lock them behind you, come forward, get a nice hamstring stretch, and upper body stretch. Mm. You cannot live without this. If you guys can't do this, it's okay, but that means you need to work on your flexibility especially after 40, especially after 50. Okay, okay, oh. we have one more cardio, one more leg, abs, done, okay? Let's just do regular jump squats. Nothing crazy, we don't have to throw a basketball unless you want, just get a jump. One, two, three, if you want, you can go out and in. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, what do you want to do with your arms? 14, you do like jumping jacks, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, save the best for last. This, huh. okay, sorry guys, eight pounders, but you guys can pick up whatever you have. Shoulders or no weight at all. This is brutal. We're gonna go all the way down and come up. That's one on one leg. Two. I know it's brutal. Three. Just 10 on each side. Four, if we can even do that. Take the weight off, power off if you need to. Five. Slow it down. Six if you need to. Seven, so hard. Ooh, eight, okay, I can barely move. It's okay, just two more, Samantha. Nine, why did I put two weights on? Ten, taking a break. Why did I put two weights on? Am I crazy? Now I gotta do the other side with two weights. You can't have left quad bigger than the right. Left glute bigger than the right. Although, body parts are even, uneven, eyebrows, Breasts, and your butt cheeks, and even, totally normal. Oh my God. If I can only do five and take a break, and take, do another five, that's what we do. What time are we at? 20 minutes. Okay, other leg, and this is my bad leg. And my leg that was injured 20 years ago, so it's gonna be harder. One, 
two, three, four, stay focused. You can do it. Five, your legs are burning, everything burning. Six, take a break. Seven, that little break right there, take it. Eight, nine, one more. Talk yourself into it, talk yourself through it. 10, good job. That's it for legs. Cardio the abs when you're done. Stretch out that quad. One more time, one more time, one more time. Oh my gosh. You guys, I have these songs in my head. My daughter is like totally obsessed with K-pop and J-pop, like Japanese and Korean pop, boy bands, oh, obsessed. So of course I have to watch it with her because I remember it was like being a preteen and a teen. I, re I like made my mother watch all the MTV videos with me. Look at all my Tiger Beat magazines. I'm just gonna stretch out a little bit in here. So I know what it's like, so I do it for her. We're gonna end this cardio portion off that we're doing abs with just 20 jumping jacks. Simple and easy for 20, 19, 18. Just because, seriously, I can't, I can't do the jump the squats anymore. My legs are literally shaking right now. And I don't wanna push myself in more than I need to. So you gotta listen to your body. I probably could, but I don't want to because I can tell they're gonna be really hard to walk tomorrow already. Five, four, three, two, one. Guys, this video is almost over. We're just going down to do the abs. And we're done. Okay. Nice side plank. I'm all the way up. And arm right here. Just gonna come up for 10, nine. This, I feel like, are my favorite plank exercises. I think nothing works better. Six, five to transform that midsection. Three, two, one. Hold it up there. I'm just gonna roll in for five. Three, also a great stretch. Two, and one, 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 one. Working that ab. Good job. Excellent job. That wasn't so hard. 10 on the other side. Five, pull throughs. You're out of here. Now I do want you to do some stretching when you're done with this video. Okay, here we go. For 10, hip all the way down. Nine, eight, ooh, you can feel it. Seven on your lower back even. Six, five, four. You can even crescent up if you can. Three, two, one. Come up, fix the pants if you need to. Pull through, four, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, crisscross. You guys did that workout video with me. Thank you so much. I so appreciate you guys working out with me. Turn your legs out while we're just chit-chatting. Get a nice stretch as much as you can get here. Kind of walk your arms forward. If you can't, just stay nice and straight. But don't hunch over and do this. We just want to keep that spine nice and straight. Um, I have over 100 free high-intensity workouts. I have a couple of ballet workouts. I have some stretchy workouts, some um, low impact workouts and for if you have neighbors or a baby sleeping or your husband or your wife are sleeping um, you can pop those guys on under my silent workouts playlist please follow me on instagram i post every single day i do stories and i love igtv so if you guys are not on igtv watching my little 10 minute videos there please go to instagram and you can find the igtv tab there watch all my igtv videos stretch it out together one of my last favorite stretches is put one knee over the other. You might not have a lot of flexibility here. Get to where you can. Just hold that for 10. Nice and intense stretch if you wanna walk it out and make it even more intense. That hip muscle is dead right now from all that work. So 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Other side. 
do what you can if you can't get all the way there like one of my legs is way more flexible than the other now if you can bring your toes out that way great if you have to pull them back whatever your stretch is it just has to feel like you're being challenged in your stretch work on this like every other day and your hips you'll have so much more flexibility you'll be more relaxed and you'll sleep better you'll just have more flexibility okay i have some videos on flexibility and using um, um massage balls i am obsessed with massage balls I'm obsessed with self-massage. I don't believe in spending all that money on going to the chiropractor all the time or the acupuncturist or the physical therapist. I do it all on my own. I've been kind of building up a whole library of things that I use, so I'm probably gonna put a, put a workout video up together. It's kind of like this secret passion of mine to kind of bring these trigger point therapy videos out to you. I don't have a degree in any of this. This is what has worked for me as a 50-year-old woman to keep me healthy and fit. It's just been trial and error um, for dancing for 30 years and working out since Actually, I started doing yoga when I was 17 years old, so I'm 50. So this is just what's worked for me. Also, my mom and dad are both athletes. Ooh, I'm out of frame. And I learned a lot from my mom about taking care of your body. She is so gorgeous, and her body is, like, amazing at 80. She's got, like, a hot body at 80. So, mommy, if you're out there, yeah, you do. Do you know that my mom still gets asked out on dates by people who are, like, in their 50s? the late 50s and 60s and she's 80 so yeah a girl can dream all right guys thank you so much follow me oh if i get to 10,000 subscribers like i get to do so much i get to do stories and if i get to 10,000 followers on instagram on my stories i can just link all these youtube videos my life gets so much easier and so does yours so thank you so much you can have anything you want is this how bad do you want it fitness makeup fashion inspiration for women and men over 50 okay